All right, what's up, people? We are going to do a much requested MMA on top of it, but now that we are in prep and everything's locked in exactly, um, we are going to do a day in the life of eating. We are going to show you exactly how much calories I'm eating at this point. We diminished them down. We brought them down a little bit just to initiate the process of dieting, uh, but it's still, as you will see, there's still quite a bit of food, enough to fuel you know performance and still growing here. So with that being said, let's get to the food. Um, so this is going to be meal one. We're just starting out the day. I am going to do, you know, my famous shake here. I'm still keeping the shake for meal number one. Um, it's just a staple and something that goes down really easy and I know what to expect from it. So we are going to do, this is actually the way I fill it. So this is the oatmeal, vanilla oatmeal way I fill it from Get Raw Nutrition. So I did 65 grams of that. I'm going to do 100 grams of blueberries. So I do frozen blueberries just because... It also makes the shake a little cooler too, so it's easier to get down. I will add almond butter, so that's at 25 grams. Let me let it solidify. So 25 grams of almond butter, 100 grams of blueberries, 65 grams way I fill it, and then finally, last thing, can't forget the oats. So it is an oat shake, an oats based shake, and we will do 100 grams of oats. So that's like a cup and a quarter. So. Um, overall, I guess, I mean, I'm not even going to put a guess on this. We'll, we'll, we'll include that in the bottom, but, you know, probably, you know, 80 to 100 grams of carbs, you know, 60 grams of protein, 60 to 70, um, a good 15 to 20 grams of fat, and just a perfect start to the day, getting balanced quality, quality ingredients in your system to get the day started, you know, we'll eat again here in probably two and a half hours. So we will see you for meal number two. Let's go. Okay. Meal number two, just added in my last little ingredient. So we have 10 grams of pure avocado oil. So this is a certain brand I get. I get this online um, because what I found out is a lot of these avocado oils or even olive oils, they might be kind of fake, uh, especially the ones you might buy at Walmart or Target or whatever. So make sure you're looking into the oils you're using on your food. This has been a great one all off season. I think I've gone through like four bottles of these. It's crazy how big it is, but- You just drink um, it? <laughs> Add it to my protein shakes. No, <laughs> no, just uh, two or three meals a day. I actually add it to food. So this meal is again 70 grams worth of carbs. So just one cup of those uh, BBO rice packets I use at 70 grams of carbs. We've equaled that out precisely. So we have one of those, eight ounces of just uh, 93.7 ground beef from Mega Fit Meals, and 10 grams of avocado oil. So this will be meal number two. This one goes down pretty easy. I'm a big rice and beef guy. Um, we actually have two of these. You'll see another one later, but steak. And this will be it. Add a little salt. It's just a perfect little mixture. So let's get this one down. And then our next one will be pre-workout. So load up good for fuel for the training. But right now, let's go about our day. See you in the next one. See ya. Yes, also with this meal, I'll add some supplements in. So I like to split them up through the day. So I usually go morning, I'll do a round mid, you know, second or third meal, I'll do a round, and then the evening to finish it off, just because of all the refive internal health supplements I do take, because it works, you know, blood work we did recently, it looks awesome, especially starting before prep, so um, these always stay on top of this, I need a new container, this one's the original, things getting old, I use the shit out of it, um, but yeah, this is just a normal, I guess I like to spread them out instead of doing like 30 in the morning or whatever, but this is very important, make sure everything, all the, you know, internal organs are working properly, and out for your health, so I can't preach that enough. Oh, you want a Ivana? Code I V A. I V A. Code Ivana? Code I V A. Code Millie. Code Millie. Oh, I got greens powder in here as well to fill some vegetable needs. Um, EAAs and GI GI Plus and collagen all in here as well. All right, we are gonna get ready to go to the gym here in a little bit, so we gotta do the pre-workout, the very vital pre-workout. Always the same for me. Like I said, I love the rice and grinds um, from Pride Foods. That is just optimal for training, something that sits really well in the stomach that I'm used to. I mean, I know what I'm gonna get from it, so it digests really easy, uh, easily. Like I said, it's just all simple white organic rice. Um, that's why I like it so much. And then <clears throat> it's, like I said, it doesn't sit heavy in the stomach, so. Um, optimal training thing. So I'm also going to add to it uh, blueberries and also almond butter. So 
It is 110 grams of rice and grinds. It is eight, or sorry, 100 grams of blueberries and then 25 grams of almond butter. So that's the pre-workout, that's the carb sources and the fats. And then I'll do eight ounces of Mega Fit chicken. And I threw some um, flavor gang, the, let's see, takeout sauce. Takeout sauce of flavor gang on there just for flavoring. Code butcher? So, code butcher on all of it, but uh, it is, this is just the, the bread and butter. So I've always used this just so I know what I get out of it. So. It's good to get in a routine of what you always having like the same pre-workout, obviously post-workout, so your body gets used to those. You you know what it's going to be like when you're training, and you don't have to deal with digestive issues during training. So let's go get this in with Joe, and then we're going to come back, show you the post-workout, keep going about our day. All right, we are back from the gym. So this is the post-workout shower real quick. I usually wait about an hour um, after I train to eat. Uh, I'm never hungry exactly, or immediately after training. So I waited about 45 minutes to an hour. This is when I do another whey shake. Um, with rice and grinds. So I some, want something here uh, that is going to be purely carbs and protein. Uh, so no fats in this meal. This is probably the only meal right now that I don't have fats in um, because this is just something immediate. We got to refuel, refill that glycogen that we just burnt in the workout. So we want something immediate that we're going to digest fast um, so we can get more meals in with, you know, with fats later in the rest of the day today too. So with that said, you can do this two ways. I'm going to show you actually, I'm going to I wouldn't call it the lazy way, but sometimes it is. But <laughs> So I'll either eat it. So this is 110 grams of rice and grinds. So the chocolate, they're the fudge brownie and coconut cream mixed. Um, one banana. So that's the carb sources right here. And then 65 grams of whey isolate. So the vanilla oatmeal, again, my favorite. But I'm going to try that. They just We just came out with chocolate um, chocolate fudge, chocolate brownie. What is it? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter. So I want to get that one and try I think that will be a new at least one I can mix in with this rotation. But how, what I'm gonna show you is I'm actually gonna make this into a shake um, because this is, it, it blends so easily. It's such a fine, uh, the cream of rice is so fine or the rice and grinds is so fine that it's gonna digest the same way. So this is one that you can create and turn into a shake. So what you need to do though, you still need to cook it. So I did cook it already um, with water obviously. And I put it in the freezer for like 10 minutes to make it somewhat, just not hot anymore. So now it's just cooled off. So I'll add it actually into the shaker. So that 110 grams of rice and grinds, the carb source I'll add into the shaker. And this is why I love my Ninja so much as you can see. <laughs> so this just helps you get it down quicker, especially a post-workout when you don't want to sit around and chew maybe. Um, but I wouldn't say obviously don't do this with a lot of like cool foods. It's more just a rice and grinds thing. And then obviously the banana will break down really easy. just turns into mush in there too so like I said the banana the rice and grinds I have a little bit of ice in the bottom just to chill it off so it's a little bit of a cooler drink that's also why I do it just because to being down here in Florida I'm always hot and sweaty after workout so I don't really want to eat anyway so this will provide some relief with a little bit more of a cool one so just chop it up in pieces doesn't really matter do too much here or it'll just turn into like a watery slushy of Rising, that's weird, so be cautious on the water. And you could add more if you need to. Cap it and send it to the ninja gods. Hold up, hold up. Okay, we're good. fast drink down those carbs I mean it, you know it's equivalent to doing like a carb powder probably with a banana and protein shake but I like to use the rice and grinds because I like to keep the, the white rice white organic rice base because I pretty much have rice with every meal so that's uh, just keep digestive a track on point um, and this one's a nice easy one to get down and then we'll eat again here probably an hour and a half to two hours with a bigger meal um, so we have how many left we have five so this is meal four meal five coming next which is gonna be my favorite see in a little bit. Oh. All right, we are doing meal five now. So this is um, gonna be more of a fat meal. We're gonna film some steak. So my favorite, eight ounces of steak. Jasmine rice with another one of those cups. So 70 grams of carbs worth of rice 
and we are doing avocado oil. So there'll be 10 grams again here. And with this meal, I still do have some juice in, just like to help with some fructose, some easy carbs. Um, he hasn't took that out fully yet, so I do actually eight ounces of organic cold pressed orange juice. So this is as real as it can get. Um, that's just easy, easy carbs to get down. So I'll do that, these two to finish, and we'll do one more meal tonight, and we'll wrap up then. Let's get this done. All right, we are putting her, it's time for you to go to bed. So we are finishing out the meals for today. So this is meal number six, and it is chicken. So we got eight ounces of chicken. We have 70 grams of carbs worth of rice, 25 grams of almond butter, and then I'm gonna put a little sea salt on it. So this is the last meal. I guess they're keeping it simple, um, you know, good good carb sources, good protein sources, good fat sources just across the board just to finish it out. So um, that will summarize the plans of today. So that's a full day of eating. We'll give you some totals here after I'm done speaking. Um, but that is what it looks like 13, out, 13 weeks out from the Olympia. We'll really probably start turning things up at like probably 10 to 8 weeks out because I'm able to drop pretty quickly, especially when you go, yeah, is that funny? Is that funny? Yeah, when dad diets, yeah, you're about to see. We'll see what happens, but um, no, we'll, we'll ramp things up. But we'll keep food right about here for the next probably three to four weeks. I'm just continuing to push training and um, recovery, and then we'll really have to, you know, obviously crank it up that to get down into a very low body fat percentage. And I'll mainly just be taking out carbs. So probably taking out carbs from the last meal um, and a little bit reduced throughout the day. But you're, as you guys know, I'm somebody that still needs to eat, you know, fuel performance pretty high. Um, and we'll see, you know, every press is a little bit different and we'll do another one of these in probably three weeks when we do some changes, we'll keep bringing it to you. So I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you, you, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and keep subscribing, keep sharing. And we'll see you next time for the full day meeting.